boys and girls, we are here. The one and only Spoonbill Slayer, Cody Van Atten. Truman Lake Fishing Intel. We're doing a little snagging trip today. You already had two trips and you already had, already had two trips. Five keepers that you, or how many you say? We, we had we had eight on the second trip and had four on the first trip. Wow. So we're gonna, we're gonna get after it. We're gonna have some good video to show you hopefully here real soon. Stay with us. Yeah. Hey, so these 30 pounders that you're talking about, how old are those fish roughly? Do you know or no? They're probably 15, they're probably 15 years old. Okay, okay. So they really don't know. You guys are going to be running the two rods on this side. They got counters on them. You'll be you'll be letting out the amount of line I tell you to let out. Okay. No, no more. And you ain't got to throw them. Just let them go. When it gets close, stop it. Okay. It don't have to be right on what I tell you. As long as you're within five of it. Okay. You're good. So this is new to me. I, I've done the trolling, but not with the dipsy type. I'm gonna have you two run them rods, and I'll run these two over here. Okay. As soon as we hit a fish, you want to grab that rod and we got to wind the other rods in. So. Okay. All right, going ahead and flip both them reels down. You're going to go to about 90. How fast are you going, Cody? We're actually running a little bit faster right now because I'm not seeing any fish. We're running, okay. We're running about five and a half, six miles an hour. Fish, get it. Try to get him over the right if you can. Well, I'm gonna have you go up to the front of the boat and the you'll front? Have to turn the boat. Okay. Man, I'll tell you, that's hard getting it out of the rod holder. He's not very big, I can tell you. Or, uh, I might not even have him. You got him. Good on there, he's already at top. Oh, okay. See how high up in the water your line is? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Little guy. Yeah. Wait, there's a length on it. 34 yeah, inches. 34. <clears throat> That's not a bad fish there. All right. That's one of them 36 inches we've been catching all morning long. So, okay. Just give me a second. Okay. You gonna take some pictures, Tyler? Yeah, we'll get some pictures, I'm sure. We don't need to right now, right, Cody? Nope. So that's illegal. Yep, just keep that line tight. Okay. Two minutes. Literally, I think it was like two minutes. Cody is the Spoonbill Whisperer. There's no doubt about it. That's freaking crazy. Now, how high are they sitting up in the water column? That one was down on bottom. Okay. That one was right down. That's the one we had a little bit extra line out on. Uh, he was on bottom in about 35 foot of water. I hadn't that, seen very many up crazy. high yet. I mean, literally two minutes, maybe, maybe three, but I don't think so. All right, first one of the day, my first one probably in 15 years, but uh, didn't take too long, two or three minutes. Cody is the master, but uh, anyway, yeah, good fight. Nice, fun fish. They got a good one on here. There's a big fish on. Oh yeah. About like the bigger fish we had this morning. Oh man, the buffalo, not really. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. I walked up and down the staircase and stuff, and I get a good look at it.
pretty good, don't they? I don't know, this is still pretty damn big. Yeah, yeah. Well, they are pretty big. <laughs> Have you ever caught one before? Nope. So go to your right if I stay filming? Yeah, yeah, keep filming. The boat can spin that away, so get up to the front, you know, over the top of the <laughs> yeah, you gotta hang on. Yeah, jump up there to the front. Well, I can get this draw in. You gotta ride here, Tyler. Yep. Just go over the top of it. Don't move that camera thing. You did you hear me? What did he say? Oh. Right over there. I'll, I'll be up there in a second. No. They play pretty good, don't they? They don't like being hooked in the whatever you said. Wait till you get an 80 pounder in the tail. They're pretty good fish. There's some big females down deep right there and that rod is a little bit deeper. Now that took an amazingly long five minutes. Probably only four. Actually. That's a buffalo scale. That's, big one. That's a good one. Alright. Oh my word! That's a good one. That's a 50 easy. Oh yeah. Easy. Look at that. Just barely, barely hooked. <laughs> it fell right out. What do you think of that, Tyler? Your first spoon bill. Damn, I knew. I mean, I could tell that was better fish. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. Kind of wore me out a little yeah. bit. Buffalo. <laughs> How about that right there, boys? Yeah, that's a that's a good one right there. <laughs> oh, damn! These things are prehistoric. Yeah, and they're come here. Fill them up in its mouth real quick. Check that out. Look at those gills. Pretty crazy. Okay. Ooh, that's a good one. That was Cody Van Atten today. My first spoon bill ever. And it didn't take long. Two fish in 10 minutes. That's how it's done right there. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How's it feel compared to the last one? Way bigger. Like, way bigger. Now, I don't know if it is bigger, but it feels bigger. I can tell you, by the way you were fighting the other one, the way I fought mine, I knew it was bigger, so. Now, this is all of a sudden stopped fighting, but. So maybe it's not. Fish have been traveling so much right now. You hit them and you get that initial run out of them. And they're pretty much done. Yeah, that's what it looks they, like. Uh, especially the bigger females. They will not fight you at all once you once they make that run. Yeah, it was a great first run. Like, holy cow, and now it's just dead weight. So I don't know if it's very big or not, but. We will find out shortly. Didn't come right up to the top. I don't know if that means, but. Uh, not. There's a couple good fish on the graph right there. But... Eh, this is gonna be a big female. Staying down, a little male would've done been up. Ooh, yeah, that's a male. It's not, a, not a big one, but it's a decent fish. Yeah, that's, he's, uh, he just wrapped it. Yeah, that's what the problem was. Now, is he legal? That one's a little shorter, isn't it? I didn't gaff it. Yeah, my tape measure won't even retract anymore, so I got all the paint wore off of it. Oh, check that rifle out. I remember him being kind of weird. Or am I seeing things? Yeah, that's just, that's weird. Let's see, that's 35 and a half, 36 inch fish. Just like all them other ones we caught today. So it's legal. Are we, it's yeah. two inches over. Okay. Two inches over. Uh, yep. When your rods are in a rod holder, you want that line coming straight down that rod, straight down to your reel. If that line's sideways, if your reels turn like that, that level line's gonna hang over and it's gonna rip the level wind right out of the idle gears right out of your reel. 
So you want them rods as straight as you can have them. Even if they're off the back, you want that reel straight, that line coming straight down the rod. Good one? Yeah. I mean, unless it's freaking tangled up. It feels as big as the last one. Well, the last one was a, yeah. Awesome. Looks like he's coming in pretty easy. Yeah, now. Slow turn, wind is pushing this right away. Going ahead and try to get up front with it. in the tail. Yep. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Get that on camera? No. Uh -oh. I don't think he's going to make it. Yeah, that's probably not a keeper. No. Nope. That one's not going to be a keeper. Man, you hook them just right, they can yeah, well, sure feel pretty big. I, I uh, that 72 pounder I got, I had him in the tail. Yeah. Yeah, uh, let me tell you. So that's probably a 32 inch fish right there. Yeah. You want to head and tighten it up? Okay. Little bitty guy. Okay. <laughs> That's why it usually works if I decide I'm going to catch one. Well, if it's, if it's under though, you let him go and get another one. Six-inch males. Okay. Ton of them out there. I didn't see it on the grass, so I don't have a clue. There was nothing on the fish on here. Just a blind one that was traveling through. His unlucky day. Well, he might be lucky if he's under. He hasn't come up though. Oh! Come off right there. Oh, you oh. gotta be me. Dude, that was huge. <laughs> that, that was over 60. Easy. Oh, yeah. That, that was, was a 70 pound fish. Yeah. God dang it. Wow. That's how easy them hooks come out. Holy Had one hook barely crap. in the tail. See how awesome that was? That, yeah. was, that was pretty cool. That was, that was pretty cool. I'm pretty sure awesome. I got that too. Did you? I'm pretty sure. Holy. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I didn't run 
Well, he wasn't coming home. up, and I thought, it's either ref or that's a big fish. I horsed on him pretty hard, too. He flipped that tail and flipped that hook right out of there. Quick as a whistle.